How does it feel to open up the uh, SEC season with a win? Oh man, it feels amazing because for one, everyone comes out, and I love like I love being the underdog in like every story. So like the thing that like everyone comes out like and we came out on top. Like to us, it wasn't a surprise because we know what we can do on the field. So like us getting that first win and not not just being our first SEC win, but Brian Kelly's first SEC win and like at LSU. So it means a lot to all of us, everyone. Um, you mentioned Brian Kelly. Is there anything specific that he said to you guys after the win that you remember? I mean, like, it was just all excitement, you know, just just like, like, like we started the week off, you know, like, not how we wanted to, but we picked it up throughout the week, and, like, it was just amazing. So, like, it was just, like, I'm just glad, like, you know, this is a fighting football team, and I believe that we are. What do you think about the fight you guys showed in that second half when you really took over the I, I think it just shows we can play for four quarters, defense, offense and defense. Defensive line, how hard is it to try to get pressure on a quarterback like Will Rogers that gets the ball out in like two seconds. Oh man, you just gotta, you know, you gotta have a plan. Like having a having a plan before you even like before you even get your before your hand even touches the ground. Like having a plan, like that's that's the biggest thing. So like if he does this, I'm gonna do this. If he does that, I'm gonna do this. Like having a plan, having to counter that. So like that's that's the that's the biggest thing we work on like, you know, in the defensive line work. What was y'all's plan? Uh, our plan was just, you know what I'm saying, just to get out the quarterback, like, you know, um, and just pressure the quarterback and then just make, make him make those hard throws, get him off his spot. How is it different from other quarterbacks that maybe can run a little bit quicker? Like in the NFL this past week, Brady gets the ball out really quick, right? Mm -hmm. There's other quarterbacks that kind of hold it a little bit longer. How is it different in your game plan? Adjust to that. Mm, I think uh, when the when the ball comes out quick, it shows a lot to the D line that like we're we're getting in this guy's face. He he knows he can't just sit back there for five or six seconds. He has to get it, get the thing out in two. So I think it shows a lot of respect for the D line. But like, it's just like just rushing. You know, just don't never give up and just keep rushing. You guys hit the ground running in conference play. You take a break for a bit with New Mexico State, but how do you use this Saturday as preparation for conference play again afterwards? Uh, no matter who we play this Saturday, like it's still a football game, and then we will be fully prepared for this football game. And uh, just, I'm just, you know, we're ready to get the ball rolling. But like these games are really important, you know. It, it can go in the, either either way for us, you know. what I'm saying like it's it's just really important to home in on every game that we have every Saturday, so we can just be locked in for the next. Gobin, talk about uh, your progression when you first got here and where you're at now. And uh, do you feel where you're – are you at, at where you think you should be right now? Uh, the way you're well, I'm, feeling, you're I'm, I'm feeling great, obviously. You know, I, when I got here, I was a little heavy. Uh, the COVID year kind of set me back on how heavy I was when I got here. But, like, now right now, like, I'm just feeling great. You know, I lost, I lost a little bit more weight, and I'm feeling amazing right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm really glad where we are and where I am. How do you feel like Matt House's defense has set you guys up for success this year? Man, I mean, like he's just he's just a great coach. Like the way he coaches us, like it's like no other. Like it's just like it's not like how can I explain it? Like it's like we're all family. Like we're all together. Like we're gonna we're in this together. Like do your one eleven is so important. That, like the, what he preaches is like just do your one eleven. And when we do all our one eleven, like we're just a great defense. Speaking of family, I noticed that uh, you know Mason Smith can't play the rest of the year, mm -hmm. but he's still. Kind of out there with you guys a lot. Just retweeted the schedule for next season. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty hyped about that. Oh, that's my that's my little brother. You know what I'm saying? It's all our little brother. Like me, Mason, and Jero. Like like, I think I met Mason my sophomore year in high school, and like he's just been my little brother since. So like just being like being around him every day, even though like the injury, like just being around him every day just like brings up brings up everybody. Cause like he he doesn't have to be here. You know what I'm saying? He could be at home open, but he's not. Like he's like. He's more he's more positive about it than more than being negative about it. And how does that kind of make the spirit of the team better? It makes the I mean it just we have the D line has something to fight for. You know what I'm saying? Like is our little our little brother's down, next man up. You know what I'm saying? So I, it's just like man, I'm not like I wish I really wish that didn't happen to him. But like you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's football. So at the end of the day, we, we still got to put our chin straps on and we got to go out there and fight for him. Speaking more on Smith's situation, Brian Kelly said that would challenge your depth. How do you feel like y'all responded to the challenge so far? Um, I feel like we responded really well. You know, we have we have we have going. So like, we just gotta watch how I answer these questions. Well, I feel, but I feel like we responded well, better than people thought we would because we were right, we were so high in, like on the off season, you know. And now, like when Mason Smith went down, they were like, oh oh oh, but but it's not like that, you know what I'm saying? It's like we're still LSU.